Welcome back to my garden, everyone. I hope that you guys are keeping cool and are happy and healthy wherever you are. It has been a tough, tough summer here in Southern California. The temperatures are just soaring. We've had temperatures up to 117 degrees um, this month, and it is just too much. Uh, the plants are not used to it. The people are not used to it. The pets are not used to it. So I hope that you have been managing uh, this heat because apparently it's going on in a lot of places and hopefully it hasn't really affected your gardens but as far as mine i'm trying everything as you can see here i'm shading my garden like every year and it helps um, the plants even though some of them are very rough looking um, most of them are doing okay I have been very stingy with the water in this area. I could tell you that I have probably sprayed them just to clean them off with the sprayer um, a couple of times this season, uh, but I really haven't watered them because if you have been following my channel, you know that I have an ongoing battle with the association that they overwater the hedge on the other side, which is a common area of our complex here and um, it just affects my plants and as you can see the Cameronia is super green and everything is really looking good better than what I think it should um, but I had them cancel those sprinklers that are on that side where my um, bed is where, where my succulent bed is now I'll show you a little bit later where my apuntias are the weeds the water is just running wild and it's just rotting everything so I'll show that later on in the video but as you can see my aloes are super green um, they're doing well the agavoidus is doing well um, my echeverias are you know even though they're a little rough they're surviving these are the beheaded mamas and I just did it in time because they had enough energy to root and to really um, stay alive during this heat as you can see the babies on the left hand side corner of the screen those were left the stump was left there for my um, uh, echeveria sahara and they are just thriving they're looking beautiful i haven't removed them from the stump because i want to give them a fighting chance once they're a little bit older maybe i'll separate them but for now, I've just left them, and um, they're doing okay. My uh, paddle plant is doing good. They, they don't have a lot of coloring because, again, the water um, situation. Even though the sprinklers are off, they're still watering, and the spray and the residue from and just the runoff from the grass comes into that area, and it's been able to maintain all these alive without me watering them in the summer but I do have some that have mealybug and I really have to get in there and treat it. And here you're seeing my apuntias. It's just ridiculous. Look at all that weed. Even though it doesn't look terrible, where's the rock? If you guys um, saw when I redid this area, it had beautiful terracotta rock on here. Look at my frog. I had to do some, some excavation in order to uncover my my frog but i had an apuntia that just fell over rotten you might be able to see it there and my rita is just hidden that is going to be so hard to take that out of there without i mean i can't even see it so i'm gonna have to shovel it out of there and deal with it on the concrete um most of my little plants that I have in pots in this area, some of them are doing good, some of them are just crunchy. Um, this, these plants, the peppers, as you know, I had planted uh, raised beds and some veggies in pots. My peppers were infested with either whitefly or mealybug, and um, 
I moved them to the center of the concrete because they were butted up against the fence. And all that water, the, the insects that are on that side would climb up the fence, go onto the beds, and it was just a disaster. But, I mean, I'm still keeping some alive. I have jalapeno plants and serrano and basil, Thai basil. And this is my uh, VIX plant. It's doing great. Um, my eggplants, I had one very successful one, but it got so infested with the flea beetle or white fly and I bought two new ones and these are just being eaten too. I've tried neem oil, thuracide, soap and water and it's just so hard to try to keep those insects um, off of these plants. Um, they do fruit a lot and I love the eggplant so I'm really trying everything to keep these alive. Um, here we're back to a close-up of the actual succulent bed that I have in the ground. And as you can see, uh, the ruffled red echeveria is, is doing good. Even the stump that I left in the ground when I beheaded the mama gave off several babies, but they're having a rough time because they kind of get too much sun. But Again, I don't want to transplant or move anything. The stapelia here in the front, it is just infested with mealybug. It just, I don't know how. Uh, the, the runoff of the water must come and concentrate in that point because I've had issues with that plant and I don't know what I'm gonna do with it because um, it's hard to maintain. The bad news in this area is my rosemary is just frying it is just dying. I water it, but the heat is just too much. This is the eggplant that the first one I got that gave me, I don't know, like 20 eggplants this season. It is just having a rough time. So I might just cut it down completely, try to give it a better opportunity to grow. All right, everyone, I just thought I'd give you an um, overview of what's going on in my garden. It is super hot again, so be very stingy with your water. Protect your plants, and we should be out of this heat, hopefully in another two, three weeks. So, all right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing, and welcome to all the new subscribers. Please help my channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up so that hopefully we can get more views. And um, all right, everyone, keep safe. Um, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.